Hi, I'm Dave, Whiskey Zero Zulu Foxtrot. Like most hams, I like to spend a lot of time here in the shack, but sometimes it's nice to get outside, get some fresh air, and of course get on the air. Little radios like my FT817 are easy to grab and go, but what about an antenna? To go portable, I like an antenna that's quick to set up, easy to carry, and makes the most of a few watts. Oh yeah, of course it has to be cheap. So what are we waiting for? Let's build one. We'll start with a fiberglass telescopic fishing pole. This one cost me 20 bucks in the sporting goods department. It's about 20 feet long when fully extended. The sections just pull out and lock together by friction. To support the pole, I use four pieces of thin nylon rope or heavy string. Each piece is about 20 feet long. Tie one end of each of the ropes to a hole drilled near one end of a three-quarter inch PVC coupler. This will be the guy ring when we put up the antenna. Cut four small strips of wood and drill three holes in each. Attach the other end of each rope to one of these wooden adjusters. You may have seen something similar on a tent rope. It allows you to loop the end around a tent stake and tighten the rope. The antenna itself is just a piece of wire. I use thin speaker wire because it's light and easy to work with. The wire should be about a quarter wave long at the frequency you plan to operate. To determine the length in feet, divide 234 by the frequency in megahertz. For the middle of the 20 meter band, that works out to about 16 and a half feet. I add a few inches for making connections. You can always trim it later. Cut a second piece about the same length and strip about an inch of insulation from one end of each wire. Finally, get some stakes to anchor the support ropes. You can make these from some stiff wire or just use some tent pegs or long nails. Final assembly is simple. Pull up the top section of the fishing pole and place the PVC coupler over it. Tie one end of the antenna wire to the tip of the pole and put a banana plug on the other. Wrap up the wire and support ropes for transport and storage. Okay, let's get this baby on the air. First, find a spot to operate, away from any power lines. Lay the pole on the ground with the top lying where the pole will stand. Uncoil the support lines and stretch them out from the pole in a big X. Put your stakes in the ground and loop the end of the rope around the stake. Stand up the pole and begin extending the sections, locking them into place. When all sections are extended, the support ropes should loosely support the pole. Tighten each support rope until the antenna stands tall. The sections of the pole are locked only by friction, so don't pull the ropes too tight. Now that the antenna is up, we need a way to connect it to the radio. Here are three different ways. The simplest method is to stick the banana plug directly into the radio's antenna jack. Attach the other wire to the ground terminal of the radio and you're on the air. This will work fine as long as you stick to the band the wire was cut for, in this case 20 meters. Another method is to connect a piece of coax between the wire and the radio using a simple adapter. I built this one from an SO239 connector, a banana jack, and a bolt with some nuts. This allows you to set up your radio farther from the pole. You may need to shorten the wire a bit to fine tune it for 20 meters. You can use the rig's built-in SWR indicator for that. It's probably going to be close enough as it is. Of course, if you use the coax method, you can always add an external antenna tuner between the radio and the feed line. My favorite way to connect the radio is by using this little auto tuner from Elecraft. I use an adapter to plug the antenna into the antenna jack and then connect the other wire to the ground terminal on the tuner. Finally, connect the radio to the tuner with a piece of coax. This allows me to quickly tune and use the antenna on several bands. Adding ground wires cut to a quarter wavelength on each band will make it work even better. I used this setup for field day this year and filled a log sheet with contacts, mostly east and west coast stations from my yard here in Minnesota. Some were CW, but most were on sideband and all were made with 5 watts or less. I also used this antenna in the bed of my small truck for portable work, using the cargo tie-downs instead of ground stakes. I can be on the air in no time and operate in comfort. The idea of fishing pole antennas is nothing new. You can find lots of variations on the internet. I just thought I'd show you what works for me. 73 from Whiskey Zero, Zulu Foxtrot. See you on the air.